Hi guys, I'm Leslie from Funky Food Dudes 101. We're going to have some fun today and cook. <laughs> and if you can't cook, you're going to die. Hello, I'm Leslie. Today we're going to learn how to cook food and have some fun. Okay, okay Leslie. <laughs> They think there's a car on the road. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to Funky Food Dudes 101. We're gonna make some nachos. This will be a plain nachos. Once again, as I'm going through it, I can explain to you what you guys can do. First of all, we're gonna take some chips. I've got two different flavors here. I'm just going to chuck them in a plate. And I'm going to scramble them around. I'm gonna put them all over the plate. I'm gonna take cheese, I've grated cheese finely. This is 125 grams. I sprinkle it over on the top, all around. You don't have to use all your cheese. You can either put this in the oven or in the microwave. But today I'm in a hurry, so guess what? We're going to do this the easy way, the microwave. <laughs> We're going to make a guacamole, a simple guacamole. Or if you really want to be posh, you can call it a avo pate. What we will need is salt and pepper, a touch of Worcester sauce, some mayonnaise, some vinegar, brown vinegar, white vinegar, doesn't matter. And of course your main ingredient will be your avo. Take the knife through, cut and peel around, all the way around. You grab your ever and you twist it one clockwise, one anti-clockwise, however you want to do it. You'll have to use a little bit of a harakiri move. Twist it and your flip will come loose. You'll need a bowl, hollow it out. So you try and get out as much as you can. Grab it with a shell and just pull it out. You're going to take your Worcester sauce, which is roughly about two, two tablespoons. Your vinegar, about a teaspoon or five ml, some black pepper, give it some. I'm going to just use salt for this one. Roughly about two spoons of mayonnaise. There's all my ingredients in one bowl. I'm going to take my fork and start mashing it. I'm just mixing it as you can see, making it all sloppy. Try not to make it a long time before the time it goes brown. I'll take lemon juice and pour it on the other side so that it doesn't go brown. Let's eat the whole ever. The cheese is nice and melted, the plate will be hot. Some diced tomato, I'm going to put it on, put it around. I'm going to take diced onions, put that over your tomatoes. A little salt and pepper, first the salt, you see it earlier in the show. Put a nice big dollop in the middle, cottage cheese, put that right in the middle. And I'm going to sort of smear it out a little bit, not too much. And this is your nacho. It's very easy, very simple. Take some more cheese. As I said, it's all up to palate and flavor. I put the cheese over it. This cheese I'm not going to melt. And there's your nachos. A very easy meal. Now this is the proof in the pudding. Great flavor. Great nachos. Don't be shy. Always lay the guac on very big. This is a very easy meal, very quick meal to make. This would use a movie night, so when you're having a few beers with your mates, impress them with your culinary skills, which as you can see, aren't fantastic, but are very easy. Always, when you sample this, the more guacamole, the more cottage cheese, the better. I like it, I can eat bowls of it. As you guys can see, a very easy meal, very simple meal. I hope you learned something today, something easy. Thank you for coming to Funky Food Dudes 101. I hope you learned something and have a great night. Cheers. Yeah, a task, a task. Hand to hand combat dust. <laughs> the pepper got me, sorry guys. There's nothing I can do. Because you're actually giving me. Funky Food Dudes. Yeah. Funky. Dudes 101. <laughs> the dudes. <laughs> this is just an indication of great food. <laughs>